Well, as you saw there, the SmackDown Live general manager, The Rock, trying to sign the new WWE champion, Rusev, to an exclusive deal right here on SmackDown. You can't quite blame him, but folks, it's now time for your opening contest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunne. Well, in comes the Broserweights, none other than Pete Dunne. He made his big, big debut on SmackDown last week when he actually pinned, he defeated the current United States Champion, Johnny Gargano. He has been granted a United States Championship contest against Johnny Wrestling himself at the Backlash pay-per-view. But tonight, we all know who Pete Dunne has. You guys got your voices heard, your opinions were voiced. And now, Pete Dunne is going to square off against the debuting Noam Dar. Noam Dar has made waves in the Cruiserweight division. Tonight, he makes a very special appearance here tonight on the Blue Brand. Pete Dunne does not look phased one bit by the big spotlight. And speaking of the man himself, here he comes making his debut tonight in Buffalo on SmackDown Live. This is none other than the Scottish Supernova, one of the best cruiserweights. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. Noam Dar looks ready tonight, folks. He looks absolutely elated, absolutely excited to be here tonight in Buffalo. It's time for a little pinky party. But don't take Noam Dar lightly for one second. This guy, very, very technical, very, very dangerous. This guy will break every little bone in your pinky, every little bone in your body, that is. This guy is no man to just look over. So Pete Dunn, you're in for a challenge here tonight. And you gotta think, if Noam Dar can actually defeat Pete Dunn here tonight, does that uh, actually grant Noam Dar a, a United States Championship match? I mean, will he be inserted in, into the, the championship match at Backlash to make it a triple threat? That remains to be seen, but we're going to find out right here tonight in Buffalo, NY. Well, folks, it is officially official. There's no going back in this one. As Noam Dar now looking for a suplex, but no, Pete Dunne has other plans there. <laughs> oh, and now Dar can't connect there. Pete Dunne says no. Instaguri shot. Instaguri shot. There is now Dunne gonna bring gonna bring Dar to his feet. As now the pros are wait. Has Dar locked up in for no oh, slamming him down. Rich in the arm now. Fast paced action to start SmackDown. Darn trying to reverse, but it's Pete Dunne reversing the reversal. Oh no, he's got the arm. He's got the arm of Dar here. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Pete Dunne has a zero chill limit. And now Dunne, Dunne here. Looking for a Kimura. Looking for a Kimura here on Noam. Is Darn gonna tap out early in his debut? Is this it? Is this it? No. It's going to be a night of debuts here tonight, folks. A night of debuts. Of course, you got the debuting Lars Sullivan later in the evening to look forward to. And the debut of Mustafa Ali. And much more to come. Noam Dar now looking to make a name for himself at the expense of the bruiser weight. Has Dunn locked in. Wrenching at the face. And he's got that, he's got that left arm locked up. Is Dunn going to tap out? A huge upset. Upset win for Noam. But no. Pete Dunn with the reversal there. Going to bring the Scottish Supernova to his feet now as the Bruiser weight with the Irish group in the corner. Now, oh, jeez, that chop. You hear it. You hear it all around the arena. But Dar now with the reversal. The reversal. Oh, my gosh. That unorthodox offense. And now Dar rushing leg sweep. Dropping the Bruiser weight. Now, 
has a no oh, man big stomp big stomp to that left arm of pete dunn that'll come in handy in the long run now dar dar has done where he wants him has done on the ring ropes is now the Scottish supernova gonna drop Dunn right on the ring ropes that midsection of Dunn driving right into those ropes is now Dar gonna drag Pete Dunn over here across the rings and go top ropes not really something you really see him or somewhere you see him go but oh my gosh 630 centon is that enough huge win for the Scottish supernova and oh no kick out at two barely but a kick out nonetheless. Oh, the stomp again wants to, once again, to Pete Dunn's arm. Noam Dar is really showing out here. He's got, he's got the ankle of Pete Dunn locked in. Is he going to make the Bruiserweight submit? But no, Dunn. Dunn with that big kick. The big kick there to Dar. And now Pete Dunn has Dar possibly where he wants him. Dropping him down with that arm bar again. Dar has nowhere to go, but no, he reverses it. But once again, Pete Dunn shifting the weight and now has no M trap. Oh no, don't do it again. Don't do it again, Pete. No, wrench not that head. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Downright dirty and vicious. And now turn it around into a triangle chokehold here. Dunn looking to make Dar submit. Looking to make Dar submit in his debut. Dunn has Dar locked in here. Dar has nowhere to go. He has no way to get out of this. He's going to have to submit. Oh, no. oh my. Wait, hold up. Oh my goodness. Pete Dunn getting slammed into the mat. No M. Dar using his strength. There's a little guy, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't really expect that. He wouldn't really expect that there out of No M. Dar. And, oh, the big stomps there. The big stomps to Pete Dunn. Oh, man. And now Noam Dar, dragging Dunn over here, over to the corner now, looking for maybe part two. Saw him connect earlier, almost got him the win, and now 6.30 Zinton coming up empty, broken dreams. The back of Noam Dar comes crashing down to the ring mat, and oh, kick out at one. Kick out at one by Noam Dar is now done with a headlock here, headlock master. Nope. Dar reverses it into a headlock of his own, and oh. And oh, Pete Dunn, big reversal there. Nope, Dar, not gonna have any of it, however. Go back and forth there. Nope, reversed by Pete Dunn. And Noam, Dar getting slammed to the mat. What's Pete looking for next is Dunn, no. Oh. Oh, no, man, stomps to the face of Noam Dar there. Gonna bring the Scottish Supernova to his feet. Oh, big right hand, missing the second time there. Oh, but no, no Amtar, big kick to the midsection. Pete Dunn stunned on the ropes there. Now Dar, big kick, and Dunn's gonna get knocked to the outside. Dar off the ring ropes, here we go, fast pace action, Hurricane Rana, Hurricane Rana. Let's get a replay of that, look at that. From the ring, there we go, better angle. Taking down the bruiser weight. Amazing contest here, this is just your opening contest. If you notice the different styles between Raw and SmackDown, these. All these young guns here on SmackDown really trying to showcase their skills, and they're doing very well at that. A big stage. It's the land of opportunities, as we call it. You know, Dar and Dunn fighting here over by our Bell Keeper. You see JoJo wants nothing to do with it. Neither does our Bell Keeper. You know, Noam Dar. Face first. Off that LED ring post goes Pete Dunn. And uh-oh, Dar! A slam done face first once again up the LED ring post. Is Dar maybe gonna take the count out win? But oh, never mind. Never mind. No M Dar wants the win legitimately, I assume. And uh oh, maybe just to further the damage. This is what I mean about that danger side of No M is really breaking out here. Uh oh, but Pete Dunn reverses a big kick to the back of the leg. Dar, Dar, a little stun there. And is now done with the X Plex to the outside. No M Dar comes crashing and burning. On that unforgiving outside mat here. Noam Dar has absolutely no idea what has hit him. As now the Bruiserweight eyeing up Noam here. Going to bring Dar to his feet. And now big, big strength there. And to the bitter end. And ladies and gentlemen, I am afraid that is going to be the bitter end of Noam Dar.
Pete Dunne gaining some much needed momentum heading into the Backlash pay-per-view. Pete Dunne meets Johnny Gargano for the United States Championship at Backlash. Right there, we thought it was it. We thought Pete Dunne had the upset win over, uh, or no, and Dar had the upset win rather over Pete Dunne, but it did not happen. And Dar was going to go for a second 630 Centon, but this time he actually crashed and burned. A little broken dreams there, if you will. Pete Dunne tried to take quick advantage over Dar, but Dar wasn't having any of it. He's had plenty of fight there, and right there, right there was absolutely amazing. That hurricane run to the outside, but right here was the final nail in the coffin until Pete Dunne decided to lay Dar down in that said coffin. Right there, the bitter end, and I'm afraid that was the bitter end for Noam Dar's debut. Pete Dunne is absolutely ready for Johnny Gargano. Gargano, I hope you are watching because the Bruiserweight is coming to collect championship gold in the form of the United States Championship title at Backlash. I hope you are... Oh my. Gargano with the steel chair in hand. Last week we saw him attempt to use that on, on Pete Dunne. He wasn't able to. And that's what we're going to see it here. Dun Dunne says bring it. Come on, bring Backlash early. But Gargano just... The cold stare and done. Oh my. Choosing not to. Message sent. Gargano's ready for the bruiser weight at Backlash. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Dunn, Gargano for the U.S. title. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. St. Chair and smack on Samoa Joe has his backlash opponent, Bobby Roode, and power bombing him straight to the locker. Samoa Joe has come absolutely unchained here tonight. We need medic staff quickly to check on Bobby Roode. I hope he's he, I hope he's medically cleared to compete against Samoa Joe at the backlash pay-per-view. Now time to turn our attention to the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, right here comes the daughter of the nature, the nature boy, Rick Flair. Don't worry, I won't do the woos because I will absolutely butcher it. And no disrespect to one of the all-time greats in Rick Flair. Charlotte Flair getting set for action here tonight against two that remains to be seen. But I can guarantee you one thing, Charlotte is looking to do just what she does best and that's win with Flair. Of course the Charlotte native, a little ironic, Charlotte from Charlotte. I know bad pun, but that's what I'm about here. Charlotte Flair getting set for action. Who's her opponent? We're about to find out next here on SmackDown Live. Oh my! Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. And her opponent, from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Well, folks, this is a talent straight from NXT, I guess, signing here to the Blue Brand on SmackDown Live. Lacey Evans. Everybody. This is what a real lady looks like. In her words, that is. In her words. She's here to make this women's division, well, ladylike. Give it class. She feels that the women's division has been classless. And, well, she's looking to change that here tonight. And what better way to do that than, well, to go up against one of the all-time greats right now in Charlotte Flair. Oh. 
Well, it is officially official. There's no going back in this one, folks. A little clasping showed there from Lacey Evans. Charlotte says, bring it. She's got to do... Oh, oh no, she's got her by the hair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. Women's right. The women's right, too. And no. Kick out at two. Out of freaking nowhere, Lacey Evans. Nearly knocking the daylights out of Charlotte Flair. Evans now going to bring Charlotte to her feet here. Some big strikes in this one. The big strikes from Evans. This is a hard hitter. A hard hitter is now Evans. Uh oh. Got her in Boston Crab positions. Somewhat. And oh my goodness. Cross the ring into the ring ropes in for the cover. Big win here. One. And no. Kick out at one by Charlotte. Now Lacey going to. Uh, oh man, this is this is classless. You talk about class. That was that was no class, L Lacey. I mean, I, I guess you know, every now and then you can lose your class, but yeah, as long as you you come back to, yeah, as long as you, you know, get back to your you know just life of class in general. And I guess it's all good. Some big chops here. Oh, you do not want to go to a chop battle with Charlotte Flair because nine times out of ten you are going to lose. And the big strikes here from Charlotte now. Finally getting that offense in. Finally getting that offense in. It's now Charlotte. Uh-oh. Charlotte. Flair. Oh, jeez. Right off the ring ropes goes Lacey Evans. That's now Flair. Big knee there. Big knee to the skull of Lacey Evans. And uh-oh. Flair's going to go for a part two. And yes, she does. Flair bringing Evans to her feet now. And a big drop kick to follow suit. Big stomp there now. Charlotte Flair. Got that chin lock locked in firm and tight. Evans, where is she going to go? Oh, big reverse there. Rolling out of things here. Now Lacey Evans, but no. Flair is able to reverse there. Now Evans getting turned inside out here, but no. Oh, Shades with an elbow. What an elbow. And no. Oh, Charlotte Flair, big reverse there. And big, big clubbing blow there. Big clubbing shot to the newcomer and Lacey Evans. Night of debuts tonight, folks. Night of debuts indeed. Of course, you still got the debut of Mustafa Ali in your main event against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, coming up empty on that chop. Lacey Evans right behind her shoulder floor does not even notice and taking her damn big fury of punches. Evans is very, very impressive. She's showing out here tonight. She's looking very good against Charlotte Flair. Not everybody can do that. Oh my gosh, what a chop. What a chop there. And now Charlotte Flair. And, oh. And using the ring ropes as a catapult there into a suplex. Pretty brutal women's contest, if I do say so myself. One, and no, oh, kick out at one. Charlotte Flair. As Evans locked in here. Or in kind of a, almost like a triangle hold here. Turning her around. Oh. Here we go again. Now Evans trying to score him out of things here, but Charlotte Flair's got it locked in tightly here. But oh, big shots there. Big shots there to the size of Charlotte Flair. And now, oh, big kick there. As now Lacey Evans, big running knee. Big running knee. Charlotte Flair's down in and out. Big upset win. And oh my gosh, the kick out at one. Flair hanging in there. Lacey Evans looking to go back to work here. And now with a little triangle hold here of her own. Where is Charlotte Flair going to go? Is she going to get out of it? And yes, she does. Reversing the weight there. No, what a clothesline. Dumping Lacey Evans out of the ring like yesterday's trash. But she's, she's a class lady. She's a lady of class, so I won't, I won't say trash. No. Charlotte Flair eyeing up her opponent here. And oh my gosh. What a shot there. Evans has been stunned. And taken out here. No, oh, right into our barricade. This is exactly what Lacey Evans is all you know, against. She wants the, the, the competition. She wants the match to be held inside the ring. And well, I guess Charlotte Flair is going to be happy to oblige after she deals the damage on the outside, that is. Now the Irish whip in the corner here. Flair going in. And uh oh, Charlotte Flair turning her around. And now into a neck breaker. Good lord. What a what a move there and a big knee shot. Lacey Evans may be down and out here. 
And another knee. Goodness gracious, man. Flair going to bring Evans to her feet now. The Irish whip here is now Flair. She got my Oh, Evans with the big reversal. Oh, man. Big toe hold there. Dropping Charlotte where she stands. No, oh, man. Big leg sweep there. Big leg sweep from Lacey Evans. Now Evans, what she got in mind here? Big strike. And oh, she's scratching the back of Charlotte. And no, oh, slamming her down with her hair. Oh, Lacey Evans. Oh, salute to you too, Lacey. Salute to you too. Oh, the disrespect. Lack of class there showing from Lacey Evans. Now Evans going to drag Charlotte Flair across the ring ropes here. Or ring rather, not ring ropes. Now Evans going to go top rope here. What's Lacey got in store? Pointing down. They go for a big body splash, but now Charlotte Flair gets the knees up. Charlotte Flair gets the knees up. Evans has no idea where she is at now. And Charlotte Flair eyeing it up for her target into natural selection. Natural selection from Flair to Evans. And look at that. The mockery being shown by Charlotte to Lacey Evans. And there we have it. This right here is a submission hold that you do not escape from. Ladies and gentlemen, the figure eight is locked in. Lacey Evans has nowhere to go, and I'm afraid she's going to have to submit. Charlotte Flair stands tall here tonight, and she has just put the women's division on SmackDown Live on notice. If you forgot about Charlotte, forget no more, because Charlotte Flair is still on top of things. Right there, we thought that was it from the opening contest. And that was a kick out at the woman's right. This was a very brutal contest from bell to bell. Flair going for natural selection, but she was not done there as she goes in for none other than the figure eight. Turning all that away, turning all that weight there on Lacey. And of course, Lacey Evans is forced to tap out. What a win for Charlotte Flair. Well, Buffalo, you were just in for a treat. What a performance by none other than Charlotte Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane McMahon. Speaking about the bloodline, those vicious attacks on Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz last week. All right, Shane, what is it? Oh, oh my. Vince McMahon has indefinitely suspended the bloodline. Well, folks, welcome back here to the Blue Brand as we get set for tag team action. Without further ado, here comes your SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Bo Wyatt and Bray Wyatt. They are the Wyatt Brothers. These two have been absolutely running roughshod over the SmackDown Tag Team Division over the last number of months. It all started when they took those titles off the then champions, Sheamus and Cesaro. The Bar, also a former tag team here in the WWE. So ever since they defeated Cesaro and Sheamus, The Bar, they've been absolutely unstoppable. I mean, just ask the Ascension. On the grand stage of the mall, it was the Wyatt Brothers who defeated the Ascension at WrestleMania to retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles. They haven't been seen since Mania, but I'm sure that they have some very sick and disturbing and just downright twisted plans for their opponents here tonight. The Heavy Machinery. As you see there, the Lantern Lights, come on. Well, folks, if you're in for the comedy, if you're in for, well, the hilarious actions by a, well, couple brutes, then you've come to the right place. Tucker Knight, Otis Dozovich, the heavy machinery. They were down in the NXT, the Performance Center. They didn't really make, you know, too much waves on the NXT brand. I don't even think they really had a televised match, but they are from the Performance Center. They made some live event appearances and things of that nature, and, well, I guess here at the WWE, the main roster, they were very uh, impressed by these two and thought they'd be a very great addition, obviously, to Rock. 
And Shane McMahon must have thought they were a great addition because they signed him here officially to the blue brand. Well, I thought, I thought the Wyatt brothers were crazy. These two might just be even more crazy. Well, it is officially official. There's no going back here in this one, folks. You can see Bo Wyatt and Otis. Well, I thought Otis was about to start things for his team, but I guess Tucker Knight's going to start things for his team. Okay. Tucker, uh, oh, maybe not. Okay, here comes Otis. Otis is going to take charge for the heavy machinery in this one against Bo. All right, firing up the crowd a little bit here. All right, I stand corrected. All right, it's okay. I stand corrected. Here comes Tucker Knight now. Tucker, all right, playing a little mind games maybe with Bo. I don't know if you can really do that, but all right. Okay, Otis. Otis is going to start things, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he's going to end up deciding to tag out. Who knows? Never know what's on the mind of this, this gigantic man, Otis Dozovich. Bo is not entertained. Neither is Bray. All right, Otis. I think you fired up the crowd enough. I don't think Buffalo can get any more louder than this. He wants everybody in tune for the debut of the Heavy Machinery. And here we go. Bo Wyatt now with the big strikes. Bo Wyatt with the strikes. Otis is still standing and now looking for a close line. Oh my gosh, he just hit a brick wall. Literally. Otis now, let's bring it. Come on. And uh oh, oh, the over the head belly to belly there to Bo. Bo Wyatt has been taken down here. And now Otis with the Irish whip in the corner here. Big Otis setting up, and oh, the big splash. The big splash, and everybody feast your eyes on this. Watch and learn. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen a big man like that do the worm? Shades of Grandmaster Sexy. There's now Big Otis in for the cover. Huge upset win here over the tag champs. One, two, and no. But Wyatt kicking out at two. Staying in this one. And now Otis with the... Irish whip in the corner here. Now Otis gonna tag in the, the taller Tucker Knight here. Is, no, big strikes in the midsection. And now, oh my gosh, compressing Bo. And now having a little fun at the expense of Bo Wyatt. That's what these two are all about. What these two are all about, as you can see there in the background, Bray Wyatt, he wants to be tagged in. He's tired of seeing this as now, oh, Bo Wyatt couldn't drop Tucker there. He could not drop Tucker Knight. And no, he drops him there. He drops him there, big clothesline. Tucker Knight has been taken down for the first time in this contest. And oh man, Tucker Knight getting dropped where he stands. I mean, Bo White is no small guy either. He's no slouch. Oh, huge right hand there. And now, oh, giving a very warm welcome to the newest tag team on SmackDown are the Wyatt brothers. Giving that very warm welcome to the heavy machinery. No, oh, driving the elbow straight into the face of Tucker Knight. And another elbow. Goodness. Remember when I was talking about that sick and sadistic sign? Well, it's showing there is now Tucker Knight with the reversal there. Gonna bring Bo to his feet. But no, Bo Wyatt. Bo Wyatt with the big counter is now Bo. Irish whip here. No, oh, driving the knee into his midsection. And another knee shot is now Bo setting up for a leg sweep. Leg sweep there from Bo. And now, Bo Wyan has Tucker Knight where he wants him, possibly. See that big tuck sign in the crowd there. As now, Bo Wyan gonna tag in his brother Bray. And this right here, they're finishing tag team maneuver, the Eater of Worlds. But look at that, Bo, or Bray rather, is, he's not, he's not pinning him. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is why, this is why. He's going to put an exclamation point on Tucker Knight. The final nail in the coffin. Looking for the third member of the Wyatts. And that is none other than the Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt in for the cover here. One, two, three. And that is all she wrote for Heavy Machinery. The Wyatt brothers stand tall. I mean, some fun and games, sure, but... The Wyatts, I'm afraid, do not have fun in their system, and they do not play games. What a win for the Wyatt brothers. They prove that they are still large and in charge here. I can't get over that. <laughs> I cannot get over that, but right here, the beginning of the end. 
for Heavy Machinery. Then Bray Wyatt would hit Sister Abigail. And once again, that's all she wrote. Good try by Heavy Machinery, but it wasn't enough. Bray Wyatt, Bo Wyatt, stand tall here on top of the SmackDown Tag Team Division. As they got the Fireflies, their little members, I guess. Uh, I don't know what you would call them, what they call them anymore, but the crowd is absolutely behind the Wyatt brothers. The Wyatts aren't going anywhere. Well, folks, if you're in for a war, if that's the kind of fight that you're down for, then look no further because we're going to get just that here tonight. This is going to be a brutal, hardcore-style match, and the first participant is the Viper. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the Apex Predator. The Viper, Randy Orton. Orton looks more than ready here tonight in Buffalo, home of the Bills. We haven't seen Orton in quite some time. He was a part of WrestleMania and that inaugural uh, television championship battle royal. Of course, Orton coming in on the losing side of that. But that is the last time we've seen Orton. So Orton looking to make a, a splash here tonight on SmackDown. But his opponents... Is someone we haven't actually seen compete on the main roster here in the WWE. He's a former NXT talent. And, well, he's somebody who, well, frankly, only lost once. And that one time was against Aleister Black. I'm talking about Lars Sullivan, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up here soon on SmackDown, the Viper clashes with none other than the Freak himself, Lars Sullivan. Crowd here in attendance is absolutely behind Orton in this one. Whether or not Orton well, supports the fans, we do not know, but uh, it's always been about number one for Randy, and that's of course himself. The iconic entrance from the Viper. One of the all-time best to do it. Stands by the three most dangerous letters in the WWE, R-K-O. And folks, the tide has suddenly shifted because here comes the freak. And his opponent from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. This is a gigantic man, a well, freak. Is he a man? I don't know. This guy is enormous. You think you know, of your Braun Strowman, you think of your big shows, but then this is a whole another class. This is a whole different, well, definition of gigantic. This, this is Lars Sullivan. This guy is, quite frankly, well, the most dangerous man that's on the come up in the WWE. Oh my. Look at that. He, oh, wait. He's blocking the light. This is how large this guy is. Lars Sullivan, ladies and gentlemen. Lars Sullivan. That is a man, a dangerous man, someone you do not want to mess with. Oh my. Insane.
Well, it is now officially official. There's no going back with this, folks. Is Orton looking for the RKO? Oh, jeez. Lars Sullivan taking out Orton. Orton will try to play to the crowd. They're going for the RKO early. But Lars Sullivan had other plans. So quick and agile. Oh, duck down. And now Lars Sullivan. Power slam. Just like that, Lars Sullivan is in full control of the Viper. Oh, jeez. The stops now. The rapid fire stops from this monster Sullivan. Now Lars, Lars gonna beat away, gonna beat away at Randy Orton here. The freak is looking to bang the Viper. This is a big match for both of these competitors. Lars Sullivan's debut, Randy Orton's return. Now Orton trying to crawl back to his feet here, using the ropes as leverage. As no, oh, Lars Sullivan, oh my gosh, he literally just, he just picked Orton up by the head. Orton is no small man himself. And Lars Sullivan just picked Orton up like he's a rag doll. Oh, no, no, no. Now Sullivan going to drag the lifeless body of Orton here. Oh, jeez, the knees. The knees, the bare knees. Driving his knees straight into the skull of Orton. Orton is not moving a bone, folks. Randy Orton is not moving a bone. Now Sullivan warming up here. He finds this his light work, but no Orton. Orton reverses it. Randy Orton reverses it. RKO. RKO. Huge win for the Viper. Lars gonna. Oh my God. Lars. Lars Sullivan, folks. He he just kicked down at one of an RKO. Nobody, if anybody, has ever kicked out of an RKO at one. And Sullivan did just that, and he's suddenly back to his feet now. Big strikes here between Orton and Lars, but Orton, Orton has the advantage on Lars right now. And oh my gosh! Orton using that strength and somehow, some way mustering up Lars Sullivan and bouncing him off, bouncing him off the ring ropes here. Randy Orton now. Randy Orton, oh, the knee. The knee there for Morton. Orton has has control over Lars Sullivan right now. Is now Lars the big strikes though, however. The words quickly being quickly being trashed there. Is now Lars driving the shoulders at Orton. Just like that. Just like that, folks. Lars Sullivan is large and in charge. But no, Orton trying to reverse there. Orton trying to reverse. Big shops now. Big shops from the Viper. Is now Orton with Lars again using that strength, mustering him up and bouncing him off the ring ropes. Now Orton, what's he got in store here? Gonna bring, gonna bring the freak accident to his feet. And oh, the big drop kick. Orton so very agile for his size. Like I said earlier in the night, one of the best to ever do it. Oh, there goes, there goes Orton getting thrown over the top rope there. Lars having none of it. Now Lars Sullivan driving Orton straight into the barricade. Now Sullivan, oh my gosh! That lower back, the lower back of Orton being driven right into that barricade is now Sullivan has Orton in power bomb position right on it. He's got him on his shoulders. Where's he taking the Viper? Uh oh, oh no, no, Sullivan's got dastardly plans and oh my gosh! Onto the floor. Before that, into that LED ring post. Orton's out, folks. I think Orton's done for. I think Sullivan, I think he has this match well and well and over with. I think he has this match won, rather. Now Sullivan, he's not going to seem like he's going to go for the, the cover here. He's not. He's going to deal more damage on Orton now. Oh, the big clubbing blows. Straight to the skull of, Vi of the Viper. Now gonna bring Randy to his feet here. Now Lars, the Irish whip in the corner. Turn, turn Orton around here now. It's Sullivan, some big strikes now. Big strikes from Lars, but Orton, Orton will reverse it somehow, some way. Still has the wherewithal to know exactly what's going on here. Is now the Viper's gonna eat away at Lars here. Big strikes, big strikes from the Viper. Randy Orton has failed himself. He's failed himself on this one. Lars Sullivan is down and out as now RN. Oh, the knee to the skull. The knee to the skull of Lars there. Now Orton. Orton gonna perhaps go for another knee drop here. And, oh, jeez. Lars Sullivan's been cut open. Look at the blood. Look at the blood gushing down the forehead of Sullivan. Orton gonna do the sadistic stomps to that open wound of Lars. Oh, but Lars reverses it. Oh, my God. Lars. 
realizes he's bleeding and he's pounding the wound, making the wound even worse. Lars Sullivan is inhumane. Oh my gosh. Throwing Orton into the air. No, the, the sadistic stomps now this time from Lars. Lars Sullivan is gushing blood here. You see the chest of Lars is all red as well. Now gonna have Orton up and what's gotta go? What goes up has gotta go down. Now the stomps here from Lars. Lars looking to maybe make Orton bleed perhaps. A little payback of sorts. Oh, the headbutt. The headbutt. Orton is down here. Orton is down. He's not moving a muscle. This is all Lars matches right now. This is all Lars Sullivan's match. Those big knees straight to the forehead. Oh, jeez. Randy's bleeding. Randy is bleeding. Lars drew blood. Lars drew blood. That's exactly what he wanted. That's exactly what Lars wanted. That's what he was aiming for. Uh oh, Lars gonna get right in the face of Orton. Orton is dazed and confused. He has absolutely no idea where he's at. The Irish whip now. And no. Not having any of it there is Orton. Orton says, bring it. This is my type of match, Orton says. Lars says, I'm happy to oblige. Big clothesline there from the Viper. Ready now. Possibly gonna pick up some momentum, but Lars now quickly gonna stop him. Quickly stop it, Orton. Oh man, these two locking eyes again. No, oh, jeez. Straight to the open wound of Randy Orton, but Lars, his wound was definitely taken for a battle there. And oh no, planting him. Planting Orton down. Orton looks lifeless. Oh my gosh, this guy is this guy's insane. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, of course, kind of. Reminds me of the Snitsky, but this is Snitsky times 10. Oh no, we've seen this in the past on NXT, the flying headbutt. Oh my gosh, straight to that open wound of Horton. And now Lars setting up for freak accident. Good night, nobody kicks out of that. Two, three, Lars Sullivan winning in fashion. Sullivan winning his debut tonight on the blue brand. Winning his debut on SmackDown Live here tonight in Buffalo. Who is going to stop the freak of nature? Tell me. Because it wasn't Randy Orton. And Orton's one of the best to ever lace up the boots. If Orton can't do it, who can? Lars Sullivan has just put the SmackDown Live roster, just the WWE roster as a whole, on notice. Sullivan is here. You better watch out. I feel sorry for any future opponents for the freak of nature. Lars Sullivan, if anybody squares up to him. Here is your winner, Lars Sullivan. Sullivan winning in dominant fashion, folks. This man is the future. When I say the future, he's the, the future down to a T. Who is gonna stop Lars Sullivan? If Lars wants to go up to the WWE Championship, who's gonna stop him? If Lars Sullivan wants to go up to the United States Championship, who's gonna stop him? But one title, one title that Lars Sullivan, in my opinion, is perfect for, hardcore title, Killian Dane. You might have yourself a monster, a flash in the mirror, a rear image of yourself, Killian Dane. Look out for Lars Sullivan. As Backlash is coming to you hot on its heels, we have Seth Rollins defending the Intercontinental Championship against Adam Cole in a ladder match. And of course, following that contest, we have Johnny Gargano putting it all on the line against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. And that is for the United States Championship title. And of course, following that contest, it comes a brutal one in a street fight. The id factor Bobby Roode and the Samoan submission machine Samojo finally settle their differences at Backlash. Then the Raw Women's Championship is on the line as Ronda Rousey puts it all up for grabs against the boss, Sasha Banks. Will it be boss time or will it be rowdy time? And of course, you have Rusev and Finn Balor for the WWE Championship title in your co-main event of Backlash. In your main event, Kevin Owens, Aleister Black, inside of a steel cage for the Universal Championship title.
from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. It's time for the big money match of the evening. It's time to get this show on the road. Strap yourselves in. Get ready for liftoff because this main event is going to be absolutely phenomenal. You can't have a phenomenal main event without the phenomenal one himself. This guy has been on an absolute roll, ladies and gentlemen. He main evented the Tokyo Dome at the WWE Super Showdown event against none other than the cleaner, Kenny Omega. They put on, well, arguably the match of the year thus far. And now AJ Styles is looking to do just that here tonight on the blue brand of SmackDown Live. We got ourselves a fellow Bulldog in the house, the phenomenal AJ Styles meets none other than the heart and soul, Mustafa Ali. This is, of course, Mustafa Ali's official debut here on the blue brand of SmackDown Live, his official, uh, I guess you could say his official WWE debut as a main roster superstar. And well, there's no way better shape or form to do it than against the phenomenal AJ Styles, a former Universal Champion and a former WWE Champion. This is arguably the greatest wrestler of our generation. It is now officially official. There's no going back. Let's get this match on the way. Here we are, Mustafa Ali says no. Oh my goodness, right in the face of Styles, but Styles not gonna have any of it. AJ Styles is not gonna have any of it. Tell Mustafa to get up, get to his feet. Mustafa Ali has been taken down by surprise here. These two are gonna go at it, exchanging blows here early. This is your main event, folks. Do not change the channel. Do not blink your eyes because I can guarantee you, you're gonna miss a lot. And oh, Mustafa Ali with the takedown here. Mustafa Ali with the takedown of AJ Styles into a neck breaker there. A neck breaker there from the heart and soul. Now Mustafa Ali sober kick. You heard that. You heard that all throughout the arena. And now Mustafa Ali's gonna go top rope. Possibly gonna set up for that 054, but obviously Styles getting to his feet. What's this? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What what a maneuver there from Mustafa Ali but a kick out at one. Wow, this is what this guy is all about, folks. If you're not familiar with Mustafa Ali now, and you most definitely are about to here tonight in your main event. Oh my goodness, wrenching on the back of Styles there. Wrenching on the back of Styles, and Styles able to get himself out of trouble here. Oh, big elbow shots there. Oh, and Styles with a Pele kick. The Pele kick, Mustafa Ali has been absolutely stunned, bringing Ali back to his feet now, and AJ Styles with a snap suplex. Putting that boy down on his back. And now Styles going to bring Ali to his feet once again. Big right hand turning him around. And now with Ali. Oh my goodness. That is a shin breaker. That is definitely, that's definitely going to leave a mark there. Another big right hand. Styles going to go back to work. Oh my gosh. You got to think. You got to think that Styles is possibly setting up for that. That calf crusher. That calf crusher there. And now Styles though. Not again. Oh jeez. That's exactly to the leg that Styles normally aims for when he's going for the calf crusher as well. Very, very smart. Very, very smart indeed. Now Styles, what's he got in store here? The technician is going to work. And Styles, oh my gosh, wrench in the face. Wrench in the face of Mustafa Ali. His legs are trapped. He's trapped. Is he going to be able to get out of this? And Mustafa Ali, the heart and soul, is not giving in. Ali. Ali is able to reverse. He's able to get out of trouble there. Now, Ali, now what's he got in store? Oh, my goodness. What a right hand there by Styles. Styles says, bring it. Bring it. Ali is happy to oblige. But oh, what a super kick. What a kick right there to the gut of Mustafa Ali is now. No, oh, Styles with a big, big, quick suplex there. And, oh, jeez. You see the Japanese riding on AJ Styles' trunks there, of course. 
homage to his uh, time, his stint in Japan. Oh, the chops. Oh, my God. No, but uh, Mustafa Ali is able to reverse there. And, oh, what a knee. What a knee there is now Ali with the Irish whip in the corner here. Styles could be in trouble. The chops of his. Oh, no. Jeez. Now, what's Ali? Is Ali going to set up for bringing the phenomenal one up to the top turnbuckle here? It's now Mustafa has, has AJ Styles perhaps where he wants him. This is not good for AJ Styles here as Mustafa Ali. Oh my goodness. Look at that Green Bay splash there, if you will. Kind of shades of uh, shades of Mr. Kennedy. Uh-oh, Mustafa Ali, oh, 5 4 Oh, 5 4 Is that it? Huge upset in his debut, too. No. AJ Styles digging deep. Able to kick out of Mustafa Ali's best shot. Ali is the fatigue is setting in now. He's fired up here, trying to get trying to get Buffalo fired up as well. What a show tonight on SmackDown it has been. What a show it has been. We still have found we still have yet to find out if Rusev is officially signed with with the Rock on SmackDown. Is he gonna stay with Raw? Oh my goodness! Part two was a failure. No, no. Strikes here by Styles and now a clothesline outside the ring. The crowd has come unglued here tonight, Buffalo. No! AJ Styles taking flight there, the plancha. Putting that boy down. Styles says, I can fly with the best of them. I still got it. I am far from done. Ali, arguably one of the best cruiserweights in the game today. And Styles is going to prove that he can fly like a cruiserweight. He can hit like a heavyweight. Styles going to roll. Ali into the ring here. Now AJ Styles. He got in store here. Big kicks there. And now I'll put the knee into the back and wrench in the face once more. Wrench in the face once more of Mustafa Ali. AJ Styles is looking to put away the young gun. Ali though, he's trying to fight it. He's trying to stay in this one. The heart and soul is not going anywhere. No, nope, pick it up, Styles. Couldn't connect there. Couldn't connect until Styles taking him down. Taking him down here, another takedown. Another takedown. You are in the ring with arguably the greatest wrestler of this generation and past generations, Mustafa. You gotta think outside the box is now Styles is gonna run the ropes. Showing a little arrogance, you know, showing a little cockiness, but that's what AJ Styles is all about, folks. And honestly, I think, I think that ever since his split with the Bullet Club at WrestleMania, when John Cena and the NWO put away the Bullet Club for good, I think, I think, honestly, AJ Styles has been the best that we've ever seen him. And now, AJ Styles, AJ Styles, Mustafa Ali, this is your main event, and what a main event it has been thus far. Mustafa Ali is trapped. He's nearly, he's nearly at his wit's end. He's nearly at the end of tapping out here. Is he going to do it? No. No. Mustafa Ali digging down deep there. Digging down deep. And able to get out of it. No, what an instant curry. Instant curry. In for the cover. Big upset win. Can he put away Styles? One and no. Kick out at one. Kick out at one. And now, oh, Ali now wrenching Styles here. Wrenching Styles. The technical, the technical background is coming into play here. As now Styles, Styles able to get out of it. AJ Styles able to get out of it. No, oh, Ali, big reversal there. Big reversal there. Oh my goodness, roll the freaking Steiner. Reverse freaking Steiner. Oh my goodness. What a main offense tonight in Buffalo 2. No, kick out at two. This is an absolutely phenomenal Main event match, all pun intended. What? What a main event, folks. This is an early, bir an early birthday gift for me. An early 20th birthday gift for me. What a match here, and I'm so honored to be able to call it in Mustafa Ali's debut. Oh, 5 4 coming up empty. Coming up empty. I think the, the knees somewhat caught the knees of Styles, and that is not going to be good. That could. Uh oh. Uh oh. The referee says I, he's got to check on Ali. Ali might actually be hurt. He might legitimately be injured here. 
Good, good job of our official here checking in on Ali. But Styles, oh gosh, no. Styles the ruthless. The ruthless AJ Styles is coming into play here. The ruthless side of AJ Styles is coming into play here. The ruthless side of the phenomenal. Oh my gosh. You can tell. You can tell Ali has been hurt. He could possibly be injured. There may be injuries unknown right here. No, my goodness. Yushi Garoshi. Oh my. Oh, come on. AJ Styles. He's, he's not giving in. He doesn't care. He wants to prove. He is on a path to prove that he is the... Without a doubt, the best in the world, and I think at Super Showdown, he, he, oh my, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen this side of AJ Styles, very, very aggressive, he's trying to prove that he's the best in the world, I think he's already done that, I don't think he really has to, to do all this extra work here, Ali is obviously down and out, Styles could be, he could have won already, he could have definitely won minutes to go, but he, he's not, he's not happy with that, he's not happy with that, he wants to, he wants to set a statement, a bold statement at that. He's not on the WWE Backlash pay-per-view match card. Well, I think he's given us a pay-per-view quality match right now, but obviously it's all Styles at this point. It's all AJ Styles. Ali's down and out. He's injuring that leg. And folks, I think, oh, wait, what? AJ Styles. Oh my, oh, oh my gosh. He was setting up for it this whole match. He's been setting up for it. the calf crusher. And Mustafa Ali has no choice but to submit. Mustafa, you have the heart and soul of all these fans here in attendance tonight. You have taken these fans by storm. You have taken me by storm. What a match. What a fight that you put on. But at the end of the day, it's, in my opinion, the greatest wrestler in the, the world, AJ Styles with the big, big win. He is on a roll and right there. He could have ended it, but he didn't. He would go on to, well, go for yet another Styles clash. And that, that wasn't even the end. He wanted to put an exclamation point on this match. And well, that's where that move right there comes into play. The calf crusher and Ali wasted no time in submitting. What a main event, folks, tonight in Buffalo. There's still more to come here on SmackDown Live. Will Rusev sign with SmackDown or will he stay with Raw? We're about to find out in moments' time. What a match by the phenomenal AJ Styles. Ladies and gentlemen, your SmackDown GM. Oh my, it's officially official. The Rock has secured the bag. The WWE Championship and Rusev have officially signed to SmackDown Live. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Your former Raw Tag Team Champions, the authors of Pain, Akam and Razor. Akam and Razor assaulting Finn Balor here. Assaulting Balor. Come on. You guys did enough damage last week. You pissed off because you couldn't get the job done on Raw. That's why you're here on SmackDown. You lost. You had to pack your bags. Now you're sitting here to the blue brand. So you, you do this. You you sent a message loud and clear last week. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Oh no. Oh my gosh. No. Oh jeez. Finn getting getting absolutely drove straight on the announce table. How can these fans here in attendance cheer this on? This is sickening, disturbing, it's twisted. Get out of here. Get out of here. Make me sick. Cannot believe you two. Cannot believe you two. Look at this man. Finn Balor's in no shape. No shape or form to be able to compete at Backlash at this rate. Oh, no. And I think that's exactly... I think that's exactly what Rusev and the NWO want. To put Finn Balor out of commission so we can't make it to Backlash. Come on. We already have one match in Jeopardy between Samoa Joe and Bobby Roode. We don't need another one in Jeopardy. What is wrong with SmackDown? Where is the order? This show needs justice. Rusev is choking the life. Choking the life out of Finn Balor. This is sickening. This is disturbing. Why? Why did The Rock sign you? You are no champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but we are out of time. We have to go.